your girl Coco Style, and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I talk about fashion and give you guys tips on how to style certain things. But in today's video, we are going to talk about fall and winter trends. We know it's here, it's coming up really, really fast. I know here in Atlanta it's still pretty hot, <laughs> but I am getting prepared to get my things together for this fall and winter. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I have about 10, 10 trends that I'm seeing that what I have been seeing online and on uh, Vogue and stuff like that where we're gonna probably see this fall and winter. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. And the first thing is chains. So I'll probably pop in some pictures for you guys of what I've been seeing. So when I mean chains, I mean bulky chains. I mean a lot of chains, necklaces, whatever you wanna call it. So for me, I'm not a really big chain person. However, lately I have tried to wear like pearls and stuff and I think they're really pretty. So as far as like chunky necklaces, I'm seeing that also and just accessories in general. So if you do not have your accessory game up to par, <laughs> it is time to start looking into that. So I'm gonna see if I can find some brands for you guys that I love and maybe you guys wanna check them out also. So that is number one, chains, almost like a 90s style. So chains, necklaces, however you wanna call it and just bulky accessories. So that is number one. Number two would be knits, chunky knits, chunky knit dresses, chunky knit sweaters, um, maybe even like a poncho that's a chunky knit. So turtlenecks that are chunky knit, I'm seeing that a lot. The good thing is that these trends do kind of come right back around depending because I have some stuff from last year that was chunky knit that I really love and I got that stuff from Zara. So start looking now for some chunky knit dresses. I know Ula Johnson has beautiful, beautiful sweaters. They are on the pricey side. However, I personally really like them. Um, they have like dresses that are swole, not really dress. Oh, I guess you could call them a dress. Nah, not really. It's like an asymmetrical, oh, maybe a dress. <laughs> asymmetrical like knit sweater type of things. And um, cardigans you can wear that are chunky knit. And what else? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. So I'll pop some pictures in for you guys to see also. So let me know what you guys think about chunky knit sweaters. Are you into that or are you more into like smooth out? type of shirts with no details. I like chunky, I think it adds a little flavor to your outfit, but I'm not gonna lie, it does get a little chunky <laughs> and bulky under your jackets. So if you are a person who lives in New York, I'm from New York City, so I'm kinda used to that. But since I've been in Georgia, it's kinda like, oh, okay, I can just wear a sweater by itself. We do have cold days, but nothing, nothing like New York. <laughs> so that is number two, chunky knit sweaters and dresses. Number three would be cutouts. So pop in a picture, of course. I love cutouts, even if it's your shoulders, it could be your uh, chest area, it could be something on the side, something on the arm. Sometimes they have things where your elbows are cut out. And also guys, you can get really, really creative and create your own cutout by wearing like I don't know, I have a sweater here. Like those those shirts, they're yeah, not full shirts, but they kind of come half and then you could actually put like a camisole under it and it'll create like a little opening right here so it's kind of like a cutout. So if you can't find any, create your own. Actually, I'll show you guys right here. Let me show you, be right back. So like something like this. Something like this, you can actually put it on and put on like a nice, simple tank top, tank top low cut, and create like an opening here, some like a sort of like a like a cutout. So if you can't find it, create your own, guys. <laughs> so that is number three, cutout clothing. So dresses, sweaters, um, some jackets are made like this now that have a high neck. So I'll pop in some designers that I've seen that's carrying this stuff for you guys and let me know what you guys think. I'll probably personally try to create my own because sometimes the cutouts can be in places where I wouldn't want them or it's too much of a cutout. So it all depends on what you like guys. 
So that is number three, cutouts. Number four would be leather skirts, leather jackets, just simply leather. I personally love leather. It could be a New York thing, but anytime I see anything leather, I go for it. Leather gloves, leather hats, leather jackets, leather blazers, I, leather skirts, I go for it. So I have a bunch of leather stuff here, <laughs> you guys. Let me know if you guys wanna see all of my leather skirts and my leather jackets. Um, I'll, I'll do a video on them if you would like to see it. And just things that, I actually recently today just saw something on Boss. Hugo Boss had some really nice leather skirts that I am, for one, going to purchase. Because I like skirts and I like leather. So, leather things, if you don't like leather, if, if you think that it's a little bit too harsh for you, um, you could always do like a blush pink leather. I have a blush pink leather jacket, like a moto jacket. Uh, you can do light creams, you can do white, you can do like a sage color, mint green color, you can do fuchsia, very pretty, even gray, you can mix gray with something else lighter. So if you do not like leather, black leather, opt for color leather. So that is number four, leather. Number five would be fringes. I am for one not a fringe person, however, I have seen some jackets that I do like, and they're kind of like 90s, 80s, 90s, 90s jackets where they have fringes and suede in the front. They're cute, so I would say that those are more vintage style jackets, and I've seen dresses that had like fringes at the bottom, super cute skirts that have fringes. Um, I've seen jackets that have fringes under here. I've seen them on the back, so. That's another trend that you'll be seeing this fall and winter. If you like those type of trends, I would try them out. So let me know what you guys think about fringes. Is it too old school for you or is it something that you would give it a try today? So that is number five, fringes. Number six would be extra long sleeves. So I've seen, okay. You guys know I'm tall, so I struggle <laughs> with shirts and stuff. So I love when I find shirts that come all the way down to my wrist. However, for this spring and fall, you're gonna start seeing jackets, sweaters, and any tops and dresses where the sleeves are literally coming past your hand. If that's not for you, opt for ones that are a little bit shorter. Um, because like I said, all trends are not wearable for everyone so if it's not your style then I would definitely recommend you opting for something a little bit shorter and something that you're actually comfortable in with so that is number six extra long sleeves on dresses sweaters and jackets number seven would be faux furs so I'm saying faux furs because I know there's a lot of people who do not wear real furs or even real leather so as far as furs you have fur vests you have hats with furs, you have uh, scarves that have furs, you have jackets that are mixed with leather and furs, or just a fully fur jacket. So I would opt for it because I like it. It's different. Um, not too many people will opt, you know, go for it, but if you like furs, <laughs> go for it. And you can dress those any which way you want. You can wear a crop fur jacket. You can wear a waist fur jacket. You can wear a vest, like I said, you can wear a scarf, you can wear muffs, and you can wear anything that has fur in it. So it doesn't have to be a full fur jacket. You can definitely opt for something that has fur in it. So let me know what you guys think about that. Are you a fur person or you just stay away from furs altogether? It's too close to the real thing. Let me know what you guys think, guys. All right, so that is number seven, furs. Number eight will be glitter. And I'm gonna say glitter, and when I mean glitter, I mean glitter in the metallic family, sequins, uh, anything shiny. So you'll be seeing a lot of that this fall and winter. I'm not a silver person per se, but I do like sequins. So I'm looking for certain sequins skirts and stuff that I would rock this fall and winter. Um, so that it'll still be in that family because it's shiny, but it's not so much silver or metallic. So if you do not like silver on you, opt for a color of glitter, pink, green, 
well, like an emerald color. You could even do red and probably even like a goldish yellowish type of glittery outfit. So I'm saying glitter again, I mean like sequins or anything like in that metallic family. If you're doing metallic, you can definitely do gold or even green metallic, that's also very pretty. So that is number eight, metallic and glitter clothing. Number nine would be patchwork. Patchwork, that's I think that's a studio in Atlanta. <laughs> so patchwork, pop a picture. Um, if you're not a person who likes patches and different designs going on on your clothes, this may not be the trend for you. Or you can opt for a blazer that just has patches or maybe a bottom. You may not want to do both of them at one time. So whatever works for you, then I would recommend trying it out. If it's something that you normally won't do, because I wouldn't do it, I'm going to try my best to try something different this fall and winter and see if I actually really, really like it, guys. So that is number nine, patchworks. So again, if you don't like a whole outfit with patches, opt for just a top or a blazer or a jacket and be a little bit more subtle with it. And then if not, you can go for the pants and have a plain top, guys. So that is number nine, patchwork. Number 10 would be quilted and puffer jackets. So, listen. <laughs> I've never been a puffer jacket person or a quilted jacket person. I do have this Burberry coat from like ages and it's because it was so cold in New York, I was like, let me just buy it as a hood. But I have seen that I think it is Burberry that have a, they have a really nice quilted trench coat. It fits amazing, it's super tailored. If that's something that you like, I would recommend going there. Or if you don't want to go there, you can try other brands, but go for something with a good quality because you don't want your quilted pieces to like unravel or anything like that. So that's number 10, quilted and puffer jackets. As far as puffer jackets, I've seen cute ones. I've seen short ones, I've seen mid-waist ones, and I've seen long tailored ones. So I don't know if you guys remember those old school diesel jackets. <laughs> oh my goodness, they were like so long up to your ankle and if you are from New York, anybody who's watching, you know how those days are so cold and you're telling us, don't even show your skin, walk into the subway to get to work. <laughs> so I wouldn't buy something like that. However, I would buy something that's belted and that is very structured. If you add a puffer jacket that is structured, it'll just add so much elevation to your outfit and I would say go for that. So that is number 10, puffer jackets and quilted coats. And those are my top 10 trends that we will be seeing in this fall and winter for 2021 to 2022, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore NY. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.